Considering your CV, I was um, a little curious. Ah, well, yes, of, of course. Um, you know, I first found this love as a child already. My parents used to tell me stories of my younger self crawling along the kitchen floor, seemingly obsessed with it, as if I didn't remember. But of course I do, because they kept getting the point wrong. I wasn't licking and rubbing the floor looking for crumbs or scraps of last night's vegetable preparation. I was caring for the floor. I considered that the beginning of my journey. Late in life, I went to university to study biology, but then dropped out of that to study product design, then dropped out of that to study chemistry, and then finally switched to engineering. Finally pulled through that one after I realised you need a degree in this society, not just the knowledge I was cherry-picking to better understand flaws. I'm, I'm not sure we're on the same page here. You do understand the brilliance of flaws, don't you? Flaws require so much thought and, and, and effort. They're truly versatile in shape, colour, Material, style, design, texture, sound, function, symbolism. Every one of these aspects has a crucial impact on the user's experience. How does the floor coexist in harmony with the walls or its counterpart, the ceiling? What walking behavior does the shape and material induce? What purpose does the floor have and for who? How should it sound when impacted by a pair of expensive leather shoes that signify societal status? It can't have their quality faulted by the tone. Or how should the clacking of cheap high heels reverberate through the space? How should the sweet sound when the floor is smeared by the soft yet filthy bottom of slippers that the user doesn't properly lift and instead nauseously slides each step at a time? But what does the colour, design and material symbolise and for who does it do so? You know, all these factors are taken into consideration when to make a fantastic floor which in turn leads to a step skipping experience and that's for good reason too. Floors are carriers. They are literally the one thing that holds us to earth. They can carry us through our mundane daily lives and keep hold of us when stomping and moving about in inexplicable ways inside a nightclub. Have you ever thought about why the way you walk across a certain floor feels the way it does? Probably not. If I may promptly assume. That leads me to the turning point. My turning point. ignorantly looked over all the years prior to becoming a floor maker. And you know what's ironic about my pitiful past self here? I was ignorant of the ignorance. The ignorance with which humans ungratefully step by step walk across the floor as if it were nothing, as if it were always there. My flaws are my life's work. I put so much of, of myself and my love in there, and, and what does the, the floor receive from the users? A bit of dust and dirt, 
nothing even remotely resembling value or appreciation. The truth hasn't only saddened me, it was making me mad. I was going crazy. I couldn't take it anymore. And that's why I came to you. Show you the love you deserve, right? Eh?